This is Bob Guerrero of New Concept Video Sports. And tonight from Coutts High School in Coutts, Indiana, it's the girls 50th Porter County Conference Tournament Championship. The Porter County Girls Tournament was held for the first time at Morgan Township High School back in 1973. Three years before the girls first state tournament, seven teams participated, 250 people attended the finals in which Coutts defeated Boone Grove. Fifty years later, the tournament is going strong, with Coutts once again in the finals, but this time they'll be playing the state's number one 2A team in the South Central Lady Satellites. The Coutts Phillies, led by 14th year head coach Ron Kobza, are one of the area's better 1A schools and currently ranked 11th in the state poll. They stand at 15-5 and five and won five out of their last six, losing to Andrean during that stretch. Ben Anderson, head coach of the Satellites in his first season at the helm, can't do any better. South Central can run the table with a win here tonight and in their final regular season contest against Lacrosse. South Central's last sectional and regional championships came in 2020 when they lost to semi-state to Frankton in overtime. But the window is open and the state championship is in their grasp. Next, the 50th Porter County Conference Tournament Girls Finale when the Coutts Phillies take on the South Central Union Mills Satellites. Remember, you can download any of our sports videos for free the day they're posted. It's New Concept Video Sports' way of supporting the student-athlete. We hope you enjoy every point scored in this 16-minute commercial-free highlight reel. The Coutts Phillies won the tip, but a quick turnover and the South Central Satellites had a chance to draw first blood. And they did, when on their first possession, Lillian Tolman lined up a tray from three feet behind the arch and nailed it to open the scoring in this championship ball game. The Phillies got on the board their next time down when off the inbound Ellie Kapuch by Lindsay Kobza, who had position underneath, and she laid it in for Kaut's first points. Following a couple missed Kaut's free throws, the satellites were on the run. And taking the pass at the right corner was senior Delaney Gale, and she locked in on a three-pointer and knocked it down. Halfway through the first in a low-scoring initial quarter, and off the inbound for South Central, Delaney Gale took the pass behind the arch and dropped in another tray, extending the early lead to seven. Then a drought in the scoring until the 2.20 mark, when on a second chance opportunity, Delaney Gale grabbed the 50-50 ball and made the tough shot and a nine-point satellite win. Back down came the Phillies and another defensive stop. Then running the ball was South Central and finishing up at the offensive end was senior Abby Tomlin and a double-digit lead for the satellites. The Phillies are getting good shots, but they're not falling. Finally, with seconds remaining in the first, Ellie Capuch drove to the bucket, was fouled, and will have a couple from the line. That will do it here in the first in the Porter County Conference Tournament Finale with the South Central Satellites leading the Counts Phillies by 10. Each team had a possession to open the second. Then a three-point shot that bounced off the rim. But a second chance opportunity on the Lindsay Cobes a rebound and a foul on the putback. And the Phillies have a couple free throws coming. With the shots not falling for either team, and the satellite still leading 13 to four, a nice pass down low to junior Olivia Marks who had good position on her defender, and she laid it in nicely. 
Finally, on the Phillies' next set, it was Ellie Capuch dropping in a tray at the 345 mark of the second, and Couts needed that. But on the next trip down for the Phillies, a tough pass was picked off by senior Abby Tomlin, who made the steal, took it all the way to the hole for the basket and won. Abby missed her attempt, but was able to grab the rebound and two passes later, dropped in a three-pointer and a four-point play for the South Central senior. Next time down for the satellites, it was junior Olivia Marks taking a shot from the right elbow, and she was fouled and will head to the line for a couple. Then with a couple minutes remaining in the half and South Central in possession, a nice drive to the basket by senior Lauren Bomar and a 24-7 lead. The Phillies had their opportunity with many open looks this first half, but the shots were not falling. But at the other end, it was Lillian Tolman taking a pass in the corner and rattling in a trade. Next time down for Couts, it was Ellie Capuch with a nice spin move, splitting a couple defenders and dropping it in off the glass to stop the bleeding, at least for the moment. With under a half minute to play in on their next possession, it was Ellie Capuch being fouled and will head to the line for a one and bonus. Following two periods of play in this championship game of the Porter County Conference Tournament, the South Central Satellites lead counts by 16. The third quarter is next. The Satellites have the ball to open the third. And they capitalized when Abby Tomlin drove into the paint and laid it in nicely. On the Phillies' first set, they had the ball out from underneath their own goal. When Emma Garavellia, trying to make something happen, took a shot and was fouled and a chance to cut into the South Central lead. Down for the satellites and dropping in a mid-range jumper was Delaney Gale extending the lead. Another missed attempt for the Phillies and South Central is on the run, ending with an Olivia Marks field goal. Then it was deja vu all over again when Olivia Marks picked the pocket of the Couts guard and took it the distance and a tough evening all around for the Phillies. For the satellites, another takeaway ended with an Abby Tomlin trade. This is when you know things are going well for your team. A mid-range jumper that drops in most cases than not. An offensive rebound, then a loose ball, and a South Central takeaway. Then at the other end, a near turnover and save. Then a pass underneath to a wide open Olivia Marks who missed the shot. But a satellite rebound and a foul will send Lauren Bullmark to the line for a couple. On the Phillies next set, a near steal. Then a pass in the paint to Ellie Capuch, and finally, a Phillies basket. Yeah. 
Then on one of the nicest moves of this tournament and off the inbound, Lindsey Kobza drove into the paint, then dropped it in off the glass for Kaut's 16th point. Next time down for South Central, Lauren Bolmar with a shot and foul, and a couple more from the charity strike. At the other end, a foul on Lindsey Kobza will send the Count Senior to the line. Off the missed shot, a second chance opportunity and an Ellie Capuch trade. Maybe that will get the Phillies going. Next, from underneath their own goal, Couts had the basketball. Then it was Taylor Moyer dribbling into the paint where she was fouled on the attempt. Then with under 30 seconds to play in the period, Olivia Marks took the pass and was fouled on the shot, and she will have a couple from the line. That will do it here in the third with the South Central Satellites leaving the Counts Phillies by 22. The final period is next. The final period opened and the Satellites with the basketball. But a possession arrow call and Counts has a chance to cut into the lead. Then it was Ellie Capuch with a mid-range jumper keeping her team close. Then with South Central in possession and in no hurry, a pass in the post to Lauren Bomar, who took one dribble, then laid it in. Next time down, Emma Garavelli on a nice hook, and the Phillies seem to be finding the range, but now they need to make a defensive stop. Then a Phillies double team, a steal, and a Lindsey Kobza lay in. Following some sloppy play at each end of the court, it was Ellie Capuch again, this time driving into the paint and a stop and shoot for two. On South Central's next set, a drive, a shot, an offensive board and a foul on the putback will send Olivia Marks to the line. Halfway through the fourth and leading by 18, South Central has the basketball. Then taking the pass and all alone under the bucket was Olivia Marks who laid it in. Next time down for the satellites, a bump foul will send Delaney Gale to the line for a winning bonus. First free throw was missed, but gathering in the loose ball and the put back was Lillian Tolman and the deuce.
Then with under three minutes to go in this one, a nice Ellie Kabooch pass to Lindsey Kobza, and a foul will send the Count Senior to the line. Next, a South Central turnover, and the Phillies are on the run. But Counts gave the ball right back following a foul that will send Delaney Gale to the line for a one and bonus. For the Phillies, a shot that wouldn't fall. But that important second chance opportunity and a foul on the putback will send Lindsay Kobza to the line. Well, we knew how talented the number one ranked South Central satellites were coming in and the margin of victory throughout the season. And again, we're shown here tonight. But let's not take anything away from the Cows Phillies who we saw earlier this year against the 4A Lowell Red Devils. And being players down, have their own losing by only two. But the best is yet to come for each of these teams as the season winds down. Congratulations to Ben Anderson and the South Central Satellites for winning the 50th Porter County Tournament and good luck in the upcoming state tournament. The final score for Coutts High School, the South Central Satellites 53, the Coutts Phillies 31. You can watch this game in its entirety by going to regionsports.com. For new concept, video sports, this is Bob.